Hey guys, this is Brandy and I'm coming to you with another video. I am going to share with you guys. I picked up some, it's like a mini BH Cosmetic haul. Hopefully you guys can hear me because my neighbors are so rude. Their music is so loud. So if I'm talking loud, I just want to make sure you guys hear me. So I apologize in advance. But I had never used any BH Cosmetic products at all. Like, I'm so weird about ordering stuff online. I feel like I'm the type, if I give you my money, like I need my stuff in my hand right away. So like, it has to be that immediate, you got my money, I need something in my hand. So, but I picked up a few um, BH Cosmetic items from Ross and I wanted to share with you guys. I keep looking here instead of here. But I wanted to share with you guys. And let's just get right to it. So, <laughs> the first thing that I picked up was this. And I'm, I'm sure you guys seen them all, but this is like my first time actually using them and seeing them and actually having them in my hand. But I picked up this contour and blush kit and it was $8.99 at Ross. And it has six colors in it. And I'm going to open this up so I can actually see what's going on in here. But yeah, Ross carries the um, BH Cosmetic products every now and then. I had seen them, but I just never actually took the time to do anything about it so here is the like I said I'm sure you guys seen this already but this is my first time so here is the palette I'm gonna see what's going on here so I'm gonna actually do like a little finger but that's pretty pigmented if you could see hopefully and then we'll do this one here so here's those two right there they are pretty pigmented I would rub them on my face, but I already have something on my face. But that is the contour and blush palette. And this is pretty big. It's a pretty decent size. And the pans look like they're pretty, um, they look pretty deep. And, um, yeah. So, if I use this, I will be sure to take pictures and post it to my Instagram. The next thing that I purchased was a 28 palette, um, 28 color lipstick palette and this one was $7.99 from oh I actually got this one from TJ Maxx I thought it was Ross but I got this one from TJ Maxx for $7.99 and I'm going to open this up so we can see a couple of these colors in here so sorry like I said I apologize for my neighbor's music they're so loud um here's the palette it's pretty big Woo. Oh my gosh, I want to break one of my nails. Hopefully, okay, I can get it open without busting it up. But here's the, um, here's a palette. These are some really pretty colors, like, really pretty. Let me, um, let's see. I want to see. Whoa! Oh my gosh, I thought I got my nail in there. I'm trying to think which one do we want to swatch. Let's do this one right here. And we are going to do it here. Oh my, yeah, this is here. That is really pigmented. Let me actually put it on my hand so you guys can see. Oops, I'm losing it, so. Wow, that is really, 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 really good. And let's do, we're gonna do this one here in the corner. I like this color a lot too, so let's. Get some on our finger, and then we are going to swipe. Yeah, those are really nice. Really, really nice. I like them. And they're like really creamy too. But yeah, for $8, 28 lipsticks. And the pans are, like I said, the pans are pretty deep. And I'm sure you could probably mix and match a couple different um, things oh, for your lips. So that was that this back together and then I got my hands on I love makeup brushes I never use the BH cosmetic brushes but I've seen a lot of good reviews about them so when I came across the um I already opened them so I'm going to still show you what's inside when I came across sculpt and blend one and sculpt and blend two for $16.99 for 10 piece brush sets I was not going to pass those up so but I am going to show you what's in them. If you haven't seen them already, like I said, this is like my first time 
using them and having my hands on them and all of that stuff. So we are going to, this is number two. We're going to go to number one, which is the 10 piece sculpt and blend set. And they come packaged in a bag. And then they're also packaged inside of another cover. And I love the gold handle, like the black and the gold. I love that. So we are looking to show you number 113, which is the round face brush. That would be this one here. Gosh, these are soft. I really like this. But yeah, here's the um, here's the head. And they seem like they're really well constructed, but not bad. So that's 113. Then 114 is the angled blending, blending, <laughs> blending face brush. So that will be this one here. And as you can see, it has a little angle on it. Yeah, and these are really thick and fluffy and the bristles are not hard at all. Wow. Okay. So 115 is the tapered contour face brush. Let's see. Where's 115? Okay. Wow, I like that. That has like the little dome shaped um, on the top. These are really dense. I like that. Really nice. Then they have 116 is the flat blending face brush. I like that. It's nice and flat and you can do buffing and all of that. This reminds me of the Real Techniques brush. The 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 brushes, the bristles rather, excuse me, I can't talk, but that's this one. And then the next one is the 117, which is the angle contouring face brush. That's a nice angle on there. So then you have the 118, which is the small, small angled, small tapered contouring face brush. So this is nice and small. I would use this probably in like in the corner of my eyes or something like that to kind of. Then you have 119, which is the flat, I mean, small angled face brush. So. See that? Then you have 120, which is the small flat blending face brush. And a small and flat like the other one. It's really cute. Then you have the 121, which is the small angle contour. My son is now between the neighbors and my son, like, come on, y'all gotta let me get this done. But this is the 121 and this is the small angle contouring face brush. So I hope you guys can see the bristles on that. Then you have 122, which is the small round blending face brush. So, but that's it for sculpt and blend number one. And I'm going to hurry up and jump into sculpt and blend number two. So that way you can go on about your day and I can go on about my day. So as I stated previously, they come packaged in this and then they come also packaged inside another thing. So this one, we have the 123. So the numbers just start at 120. I mean, excuse me, 113 and they go all the way up to 132. So they're in order. Um, so I'm looking for number 123, which is the flat top buffing brush. And the flat top buffing brush is almost reminiscent to, or it favors the other one from the Sculpt and Blend. And this is the 116. So, I mean, only thing is the bristles on this one is a little bit longer and this is a little bit fuller, but hopefully you guys can see. It's not really big of a, too much of a difference. They're both flat. I said really soft. But you could tell like this one is just a little bit taller and a little bit wider. So then I'm looking for 124, which is the tapered face blending brush. It's this one here. Hopefully you guys can see it. And this reminds me, these are almost really similar. This reminds me of the 115. So if you guys can see, 
this one is just a little bit thicker and a little bit more this is a little bit more straight but wow these are really similar 125 which is the tapered contour brush let's see 125 this one which can also be like confused with this one like they're almost the brush heads are almost similar like really similar and then we have <coughs> excuse me 125 which is the taper we did a taper contour brush we're looking for 126 which is the precision brush and I like this because it's kind of flat you guys can see that so it's that one 127 which is the angled face shader brush when i seen this on a package i said i know for a fact i want this right now look at this look at this angle on this and look at how thin it is are you kidding me when i seen that on this box i said oh no you're coming with me today right now like this is perfect for down the, well my nose is pretty wide child i don't my nose is wide so this would be perfect for contouring down the side of my nose here perfect i am in love with this brush so i cannot wait to like use it 128 which is the let's see small deluxe blending brush here and this reminds me of there was another small blending brush on this side i can't remember but it reminded me of that but this is 128 small deluxe blending brush 129 which is the what is this small round blending brush these are so much alike like you can use these for multi purposes you don't just have to use them on your eyes you can use them anywhere so and then 130 which is the large shader brush i like this you can use this for packing on color so yeah, I like that one. 131, which is the nose contour brush. Look at the angle on this. Girl, whose nose is they contouring with this brush looking like this? They dang on sure ain't contouring this big old nose because this little angle right here is not chap. What am I going to use this for? Do you see this? Do they no okay well i better find another use for this one because this ain't gonna do no contouring on this hunker <laughs> right here so that's why we so we uh resorted to the big dog because mama got a big old nose and this is not gonna work <laughs> and then the last brush is number 132 and it is the precision detailer brush so that is this one really small detail like the name says put a little pop a little color in here or you know what I mean a little bit of whatever but that is not bad like I said 10 pieces for $16.99 a piece plus tax in Pennsylvania you cannot beat this like where else are you gonna get good brushes like I'm assuming they're good because I haven't had a chance to use them but I see nothing but amazing reviews so where else can you get a $16.99 set for 10 pieces 10 brushes besides roll techniques my favorite God bless real techniques but that is it for my mini um bh cosmetics haul so if you use these products and you like them can you let me know if you use the sculpt and blend two brush sets and you like them let me know like how do they wash how do they wear do they hold up to you know blending out seamlessly your makeup and powders and stuff like that i would love to know how they worked out for you um tag me in your video i would love to see it thank you for watching rate comment and subscribe follow me on instagram and follow me on i'm not on snapchat what's the other one twitter i'll leave all of that information below so sometimes i will post pictures and i won't necessarily do a video but follow me there i'll put all the information below thank you for watching subscribe hit the button it's somewhere around here so